I'm going to provide a quick introduction to tool compensation in Enroute. Uh, this is a new capability that allows you to support tool compensation, particularly for, for users or for machines that prefer this type of operation. So the, the nice thing is it doesn't really change too much in Enroute as far as what you have to do to accommodate this. So I'm just going to create a, a normal routing offset, uh, in this case with an entry exit. Uh, defined and I'm going to output it to a driver that has been enabled or configured to enable uh, tool compensation and output the file so I apparently didn't really do anything differently than I normally would uh, if I bring up this file this output file in in uh, backplot uh, and you can see I'm going to open, I have both the output file and the intermediate file which I have left there. Uh, I'm going to leave that there. So you can see in the, in the output file that the output uh, has changed a little bit. So, so what you see here is I've got square corners. So actually what I'm outputting is I'm outputting essentially the original geometry from the that I originally created. So this original rectangle that I created in route is essentially what got output as an output file. However, I've got the entry exit there and the entry exit has been modified so that it, it actually starts at the original location for the toolpath and then transitions directly into this toolpath. So you see that this angle is a little bit steeper. This allows the transition of the tool compensation to take place over the length of the entry uh, to the the actual position so the tool actually is going to cut uh, in the same location as as the original tool path assuming that the dia diameter of the tool is the same uh, however it does allow the user at the machine to change the diameter of the tool and still get the correct dimension on the part that's being out out output so anyway that's the benefit so now the question of course is is how did I accomplish this um, there's a couple of things first of all uh, I'm gonna open up I'm gonna open up WordPad and in the in the driver in the CNF file for the driver I I defined a parameter that told the the uh, told in route that I did want to enable tool compensation in the output so in the in the model name of the driver I added a parameter called toolcomp and gave it a value. In this case, 96 tells it to enable tool compensation uh, in a particular way, which I won't get into at this point. But but that that integer value tells it to enable tool compensation sort of in the most flexible way for outputting, and so that's a good value to use. Uh, the other thing that I did, oops, I'll get back to. WordPad. The other thing that I did in and route preferences, and I'll open that back up again. Uh, this file is the is the in route settings file. If you scroll down to special preferences, I added a parameter called enable tool comp and set that equal to true. So uh, in this version of in route, it'll actually create that value automatically, but it defaults to false. So if you do want to enable tool compensation, you you want to turn that back to true. Uh, in this file so that in route knows that you do actually want to use tool compensation. So then when I created the toolpath, delete that, I'll get back in here again. When I created the routing offset toolpath, it since I had tool compensation turned on, it provides a parameter now that allows me to enable or disable tool compensation uh, for this particular strategy. So since I've enabled it in and route, it, it assumes that I do want to do tool compensation. So this value is going to default to true. So it is going to enable tool compensation. Uh, if for whatever reason on this strategy, I don't want to enable tool compensation, then I would uncheck that. Uh, so that that is how I got to the output that I that I got to. Now there's a couple of sort of interesting things about tool compensation that uh, are also true here. I'm going to add another tool and and typically what you would imagine that that it would not be possible to use tool compensation with both a rough and a clean 
and uh, and this I think is typically true. And in route, what we did is we we also allowed in route to accommodate a clean pass on on a routing offset, so it gives you more flexibility for the routing offset that you might do. So so I'm going to to add a a a rough pass and a clean pass and one thing I forgot to do is add an entry exit so I'll, I'll back out here go in here and for my clean pass I'll add an entry exit and I'll just keep those parameters the same click OK and make sure that my entry and exit are on top of each other which which isn't absolutely necessary but just for simplicity I'll do that in this case so I'll move them right next to each other and then when I output this okay now if I go to back plot I'll open that file okay you'll see that I do get both both of the offsets and so in route does actually utilize uh, the the tool diameter the defined tool diameter in route and creates offsets that are appropriate for those tool paths in this case which does offer uh, some flexibility and so now if I look back here I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this if I create a hatch fill we've also actually enabled enable tool compensation for a hatch fill and so uh, I have that same parameter again it's going to default to to true and then if I click OK I get my normal my normal uh, hatch fill but you notice that I have a, a cleaning pass that goes around the the tool path to clean up the the fill. So in this case, the tool compensation really is appropriate only for the clean pass and not for the the rest of the fill because of the back and forth nature of it. A little change in diameter of the tool is is going to really have no effect on the on the hatch pattern. So assuming it's not a huge difference in diameter, that should work fine. So it's just the clean pass that really needs to have a tool compensation. So if I output this. And then if I look at it in back plot, you'll see that that I've I've actually offset from that from that uh, toolpath out back towards the the geometry uh, to create a toolpath that can then be offset by the tool compensation by the machine in order to end up with the correct finished tool position to to mill out or to hatch fill that that piece so so now you can see that I I've got the ability to to do a regular just a simple offset uh, to also do an offset with a clean pass and also a hatch fill and and so that should be able to handle a good portion of the types of tool paths that that are needed for for machining parts that need to utilize the tool compensation as the as the option and and you also within within each of these strategies within the hatch fill and the and the routing offset strategies if i have tool compensation enabled uh, I do have the ability to choose whether it's appropriate for that particular strategy or not. So even within a, a, a design file, I can I may very likely choose to use tool compensation some of the time, and and not some of the time. So that's also an option uh, with tool compensation. Now, if I look at just for for those that might be working on drivers, if I look at the the uh, document um, sorry I'm going to give over to back plot here if I look at the docu the output of the PCD file you can see that from a driver's perspective uh, I get a message 
at the start of the toolpath. So I come here after I've set all the parameters, I get a message that turns on the tool compensation and tells which side of the of the geometry the toolpath should be on. And then it also goes down to the bottom of the the end of the, the, the of each toolpath that, that contains tool compensation. It tells it to end the tool compensation at the end of that toolpath. Now it may turn it right back on again with the next toolpath, but then it also may not. So so this end message gives the option of of turning off tool compensation at the end of each toolpath so that so that the machine can behave properly. So that's how that information is passed on to the output file and to the driver. So anyway, that's tool compensation in and route and in order for that to be enabled uh, currently you want to have in route uh, 4.2.0.21 so the point two one dated 519 is is an appropriate executable or appropriate version of in route to be uh, to make the tool compensation available so anyway that is tool compensation in in route